is a story about dad. And he's in a wrestling ring. Mm, I think he's at the hospital. And he's a nurse. Ugh, that's lame. Why can't he be a doctor? No, he's a nurse and he does nursey things. Fine. So he goes to the nurse station. <laughs> What's up, cool boys? Kimmy here. Welcome back to another video. And today, we're back with some more Off for Dead. And I guess we're a nurse now. So I gotta find the patient records. They're like files. Okay. Oh, I see one. I see one thing there. Let me pull this out a little bit more. Okay, but I don't think that's it. Okay, those are just lemons. Uh, let's check these. Alright, they don't work. Alright, so they're all in here. Let me just pull out the cabinet a little more. Nurse Dad had to go help. All the patients. Alright. Helping my patients. And then Dad met a patient who was sad and weird. It's bad, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no, is it Chaz? Leforia? The Macarena? You better check my blood pressure to find out! What's shy? Come on. Got faster. All right, this one seems a little overprotective about herself. Oh, what about my eyes? Shine lights in my eyes! Uh, I don't think I need a shiny lights, but sure. Am I blinking enough? Oh. My bad. Am I blinking enough? I feel like I'm not blinking enough. What is it? I'll give it to me straight, nurse! All right, so you got a little bit of this with some of that. Uh, can you show me on the whiteboard? I am. Look what I'm doing here. Look at all this math and science, all dedicated to the research. All right. Oh, I see. I have unicornitis. What? Unicornitis. What is that thing? Oh, well, that's not so bad. Thanks, nurse. Away! Where'd you fly off to? Everyone knows, people afflicted with unicornitis can fly. Well, I guess I didn't know that. And I'm a nurse. And Dad met this one lady who was really nice. Good morning, Mr. Nurse. If it's not too much trouble, would you mind fluffing my pillow? No, nope, it's too much trouble. Television. All right, let's see here. Let's fluff up that pillow. My bad. Rub it against the floor, you know, give it that texture. Turn off the TV. Hmm? What do you think I am? A servant? Um, hmm? could you fetch me some donuts from the waiting room, please? Here's some money to buy them. I want to eat the donuts for myself. I don't need you telling me what to do. Alright, so donuts. It got stuck. I can't get the donuts. What if I just slither my hand down here? It's gotta fit through. Alright, down. Mm -hmm. You see, this advantage is being an octopus in disguise. Alright, here are your donuts. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it I guess. Where else? This corner one right here. What do you want? And Dad met this one guy who was a jerk. Well, it's about time. 
Wow. Okay. My bottom hurts. Adjust my bed, nurse. Adjust the bed. All right. Why do I do that? What do I press to adjust your bed? Do I go on the other side? Maybe it's on this side. What do I do? I can't figure this out. What do you want? All right. These melon slices like are just something. gonna jump into my mouth. Serve you with my cold hands. My cold, wet, slithery hands. Here, eat up. With your hands? Are you an animal? Fine. Okay, how do I pick these? Did he just eat two out ones? This kid's got like the largest mouth ever. Oh, I'm bored. Give me a book. Oh my gosh. This guy just wants to annoy me. And now I have a cabinet stuck on my foot. Alright. So, what book does he want? I'm gonna get him this book. Alright. Here's your book. My IV looks low. Change it already. IV? Alright. This thing. Of course it looks low. It's empty. So now we gotta get to not that. Um, we need this thing. Alright. Oh, out nice. of here. I'm sick of your face. Uh, wow. What now? He helped all the people. What's stuck on this oh, chair? The phone rings. Hold on. Gotta get my foot off this chair. Alright. It's off. Gotta get to the telebone. And on the phone is Dad's long lost brother. Dad, it's your long lost brother. I've got terrible news for you. One of your patients is going into cardiac arrest. What? Patient alert in room 205. <laughs> no, I gotta save this guy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where's the gurney? Where's the gurney? Down here? In the prep room? My legs are stuck inside this door. I cannot move them. All right, here you go. Why get inside? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave them in here for now. Oh, wait. I think I messed up. All right. Here we go. Just get a better, better handle from him. All right, just throw him down. Wait, what's cardiac arrest? I don't know. It's one of those hospital -y things they say on TV. It sounds illegal. All right. How do I get him off? Just get the dude. Let me just drag this guy over there. Alright, don't mind me. But suddenly, Dad faced a most fearsome challenge. Good thing there was a crowbar there. To crowbar the door open. The what? Hmm? Gotta break open this door. Alright. This is how you do it. Am I fixing stuff?
Alright. Let me get this guy. And just drag him along. Okay, I gotta wash my hands. Uh, you just wait in here with all these vaccines. Come on, get in. You're not being helpful. You're not cooperating. Whatever. Alright, I'm just get my feet in. Alright, anesthesia, here you go. There you go. Get him in the ore table. Is this it? Alright, I did it. Don't <laughs> whoops. Alright. Have pressed all the buttons. Please try again. Alright. Give that another shot. Paging Dr. Nigel. Dr. Nigel to the operating room. Is it him? It's the man. And then the, doctor the myth. Him, and he was the thing. legend. His name was Nigel. Alright. Gotta x ray the patient now. Uh, let me just drag this along. My bad, Nigel. Um. How do I just maneuver this? Mm -hmm. Just kind of drag this over to that side. Um, there we go. Oh. Alright, we got it. Bring Nigel the scalpel. It should be on the desk here. Put a screwdriver. How can I grab this without grabbing anything else? Alright. I don't want this mallet. I don't want the screwdriver. I don't need this patient. Alright, is this it? Is this what you want, Nigel? Wrong tool. Find the scalpel. Alright. Let me just turn off the x ray. It's getting annoying. Okay, it's right there. Simple, I guess. No. We just gotta fix this guy. Where's the bone saw? Where does Dad find a bone saw? I don't know, in a box somewhere. Alright. So that seemed easy. Okay, we got the bone saw. You know, we just gotta give it a Nigel. Then it was time for surgery, and Dad got all up in some guts. That's disgusting. I don't know, Stacy. Dad grounded me for a week after my last story. Sports Johnson and the zombie hurricane was pretty violent. It was my masterpiece. So it turned out the man was a robot all along. So now the surgery can begin. I'm gonna bring the mallet. Everyone knows it's the best tool when doing surgery. Okay, we gotta open the chest plate. Clear the chest cavities. What comes up? Come on, move. Move your hammer. Alright, let me just take out everything. I feel like it's the only way it's gonna work. Alright, let me get this other stuff. Like this. And the other. 
four, three. Nine. We did it. Wipe his forehead. All right, give me the paper towels. And in his chest, they find a broken heart. Looks fine to me. So broken, it goes crazy, flying around the room, and then all his arms and legs go blue all over the place. What? You're making me do more work than I need to. Where'd the heart go? Is it in here? All right. I don't hear a beating. Here. Oh, I see. It's hot. It's down there. Alright. He's gotta place all his limbs back on him. What is this? A fax machine? Uh, let me grab his foot. He looks like a foot. Alright, there. Alright, there. Alright. Let me move this x ray machine. Out the way. Let me grab his arm. There we go. We fixed the fax machine. What now? Okay, the guy's not a robot anymore. I got to use a defibrillator. Clear. All right, clear. Pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to use it. At least not on his head. Okay, got it. It's ten. All right, we did it. Oh, one more time. All right. Gotta make sure we don't kill him with this one. All right. We fixed him. There you go. And then dad and the famous doctor. Uh, more than once. All right. Get the patient in a wheelchair. Here you go, buddy. Come with me. A little robot jerk. Why is the defibrillator following me? And dad brought the not a robot anymore patients back to his room safely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. He had the corner room, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here you go. But, uh, but Dad caught unicornitis from that <laughs> alien lady, and the only cure for unicornitis is... jet skis! So he bought us some sweet jet skis! The end! Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.